Walking is a simple, yet very effective exercise. A small stroll around the park, or even your house could do wonders for your body. People who have cardiovascular problems are advised to walk regularly. Have you ever thought of going for a walk every day? It does quite a bit of good for you. From burning fat and boosting your metabolism to building stronger leg muscles, we're talking all that and more. Number 1. Releases tension. Every person with a 9 to 5 knows what it feels like to be under stress. The body adapts to sitting a particular way. This gradually builds muscle tension, especially if you're not stretching to relieve yourself. Walking every day releases the tension in your muscles. Just make sure you're doing it in a safe and comfortable place. Going for a walk in a busy downtown area is annoying and loud. Not to mention, downright dangerous. There will be a lot of noise and air pollution. These things can negatively affect your body. So we would suggest that you try walking in the park. Number 2. Burns fat. Going for a walk is a very effective method of burning fat. This is mainly because when you walk, your body uses energy and burns calories that are present in your body. This in turn helps to burn the extra fat. If you've been trying to get rid of your fat for a while, you know it's not an easy task. Especially if you consume a lot of calories. This is why light exercises like walking help a lot. Walking is specifically useful for people who don't have the time to work out. Just remember that if you really want to burn fat, you have to walk at a faster rate. This will put pressure on the muscles, thereby causing your body to burn more calories. The more calories you burn, the easier it becomes for your body to burn fat. The more fat you burn, the closer you are to getting fit. Just make sure you don't exhaust yourself. The idea is to lose fat, not energy. Number 3. Heart Benefits. Walking is a type of cardio. Apart from the movement of your legs, it stimulates the muscles in your heart. When you walk, the blood pressure levels of your body also lower. This helps you avoid heart-related problems, including strokes. Additionally, many experts believe walking regularly could lower your chances of coronary heart disease. So, how does walking for almost 3 hours fit in? Well, a longer duration with enough rest will do wonders for your body. Studies have suggested that a long walk is good for the heart. Number 4. Boosts Metabolism Yes, you heard that right. Walking can boost metabolism. Your metabolism is your body's ability to convert your food into energy. It uses this energy as fuel to perform activities. When your body needs more energy, it needs to burn more calories and, with that, more fat. This is when your body feels the need to boost the metabolism. So what do you do? A boosted metabolism enables your body to perform tasks more efficiently, as you become more energetic. A good metabolism helps cleanse the body of free radicals and toxins. More importantly, it boosts the immunity of your body, while also helping to improve your mood. Considering that depression has become a major health concern, a boosted metabolism will do you good. Number 5. Strengthens Leg. Muscles The strength of your lower body is very important. It enables you to maintain a better center of gravity, which improves your body balance. Walking is one of the easiest ways to make your leg muscles strong. When you walk, your leg muscles are bound to move. As a result, it builds strength and flexibility, especially your hamstrings and calves. This is why if you get used to walking in tougher terrain, it would be very useful for your body. The more you challenge it, the more it is forced to adapt to the changes. Just know that your body has a limit. Yes, it can adapt, but putting too much pressure is dangerous for your body. So, naturally, we don't recommend it. As far as tougher terrain is concerned, you can try walking in the mountains. But make sure that you have some supplies with you. And make sure you are getting enough rest during the trek. Once again, don't overexert yourself. You want stronger legs, not tired ones. Number 6. Improve sleep. If you get tired, you will find it easier to fall asleep. Allow me to elaborate, we have already spoken about how walking helps burn fat. When you are spending a lot of energy, you are bound to get tired. When your body is tired, the brain sends signals that it needs to be rested. This is when the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin is released in your brain. Melatonin creates an urge in your brain to fall asleep. This is why you easily feel sleepy. You can try this out by taking a walk before going to bed. It will make you feel exhausted. After waking up, 
you will feel rejuvenated. This is why you should take breaks in the middle of your trek. Walking is also a good way to improve your sleep. So if you're watching this and have insomnia, maybe it's time to put on your walking shoes and go out for a stroll. Number 7. Lowers blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, a nice calming walk may be just what you need. Researchers from Arizona State University would agree. They conducted a study on the association between walking and lower blood pressure, and they found that just 10 minutes of walking per day was effective in helping lower blood pressure. If you were to walk 15 to 20 minutes, you're increasing your odds even more of reducing your blood pressure. Number 8. Enhances mood. Your mood may not be as predictable as you think. We sometimes experience mood swings. In many cases, it could lead to a period of depression. Well, don't worry, there's a simple solution for this. You just need to go out for a walk. There have been many speculations about the link between mood and physical exercise. Why? Well, walking releases endorphins. These components help us to stay calm. More importantly, it stimulates your brain and improves your mood. With a better mood, you would be able to go through your regular day with more enthusiasm. Another important thing is the positivity it brings to you. When you are feeling positive, it will reflect through your mentality as well as physical health. So the next time you feel bad about yourself, head out for a walk. You'll return feeling better. Well, it is the effect of the endorphin that is naturally present in your brain. Besides walking, what are some of your other favorite physical activities? Tell us about your workout program in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.